Good morning. Good morning. Okay, guys, let, let's just, you know, stop this. You know, the market may be down because of Trump. It may not be, that be down because of Trump. Exactly. Now we'll see which stocks hold up, you know, ideally we, we get a bounce out of the gate. Um, I don't like the fact that the spies are below the 50 day, uh, but the queues are, are right on the 50 day, uh, on the rising 50 day. So let's see if we can get a bounce. Uh, but, but the most important thing is to, is to see the leading stocks bouncing. And if they don't, if they can't bounce, uh, well, then it's time to maybe, you know, size down on things. I'm kind of heavily long, and if, if we can, if we, if we lose the 50-day in the NASDAQ, I'll probably size down quite a bit. I don't want to play with fire. Exactly, this is absolutely not a free fall. So the average daily range on the NASDAQ 100, on the QQQs, is 2.7%, okay? And we are gapping down so far 2.3%. So we are not even gapping down one average daily range. This is absolutely not free fall. This was a free fall. This is not. It could become a free fall. We don't know that yet, but this is not a free fall. <clears throat> yeah, my cat is messing around. He's not grateful at all that I got him into the Wall Street Journal. He's not grateful at all. Yeah, this is uh, today is gonna be a great opportunity to see which stocks are 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 strong for real. Right now, everything in my portfolio, like yesterday, everything in my portfolio was green. <laughs> I didn't make a single trade yesterday. And today everything is obviously gapping down. So we'll see. Did he pee on it? Nah, he just didn't care. He looked like at me like I was an idiot and walked away. <laughs> That's what he did. I'll teach him. I'll teach him to show some gratitude. <laughs> oh. Twilio guided higher. Gapping up nicely. <laughs> Last page, man. Oh, that was too funny. Like, I went through the whole paper. I'm like, where's my article? Where is it? And there it was on the last page. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny. I think it's hilarious, man. I think it's hilarious. Last page in the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, exactly. Same page as Beckham. I was on the same page as David Beckham. Who else 
have been on the same page as David Beckham? Not a lot of people. And definitely not a lot of cats. Did he also short Kodak? I, I doubt it. He wasn't in the same article. <laughs> yeah, it was the same interview. I have a footballer's car. <laughs> don't they have even better? Don't they drive like Lamborghinis and Bentleys and stuff like that? Rolls Royce. Look, I'm a simple working man. I'm a simple trader. Can't compare myself to a footballer. Good morning. <clears throat> All right, so today I really don't have any trades I'm uh, excited about. I was getting excited. Um, I am getting excited, excited about this high tight flag forming in pen. Maybe next week, if we can put in another tight day today, could be a five star setup for next week. This thing looks like it wants to go to 100. Zoom looks pretty strong. This thing looks like it's going to open up break even. Holy shit. I'm not going to short anything. I don't see anything. Good to short. I don't see anything. And also this gap down. It's a pretty big gap down. You know. Statistically I think this thing is going to probably bounce around. Or we could go high, uh, lower. I don't know. It's impossible to know. I'm just going to see how my stocks react. And if, if, if my stocks can't bounce. If, if it looks like everything wants to go lower. I'll size down. I'll size down everything. Or maybe even sell some things outright. Wait, what? Your sister's image college? She has a picture of me together with Chef Peace? <laughs> no, she doesn't. How did she get a picture of me? NIO? Uh, yeah, NIO looks very strong. Market hates uncertainty? The market loves uncertainty. Bull markets run on uncertainty. This move here, do you, do you think we had any certainty here when the Mar uh, Nasdaq 100 went up 75%? Do, do you, or whatever, 80%? Do you think we had any certainty here? Dude, no, no, no. Just stop that. Stop that. Uncertainty is our friend. The more things to worry about, the better. There's not much uncertainty at all. We already know what, what's going to happen. Either Trump wins or Biden wins. That's it. There is no uncertainty. Exactly, war of worry. All right, markets are open. I'm gonna st stop talking. And Zoom is already breaking out, man. Oh. That's some strength. Oh, I think I got stopped out on Tesla in my Interactive Brokers account. I need to log in there and check. I think I may have gotten stopped out of this thing. So right now things are bouncing really, really nicely. Even Tesla that I just got stopped out of, but I have to double check. I think I had an automatic stop in there.
You never traded a bull market before? Uh, JKS ready for short? No, I don't think so. It just doesn't look that extended. But, you know, if it puts him back side and starts fading, preferably starting to show l relative weakness, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I got stopped out of Tesla. Oh, well. A fifteen thousand dollar loss on it. Uh, this pen is building another higher low on the 60 minute chart. I, I think it looks good for next week. I really do. This is a really strong, strong pattern. Many stocks are already gr almost green on the day. In pre-market, they were all down three, four percent. Now, most of them are only down one or two percent. So, so far, we're getting nice bounces. That's a good sign. Question is, can we hold, or are we gonna start fading mid late day? If are you positive on DraftKings? Is that a real question? I'm long DraftKings. I'm only I'm only positive on stocks that have good setups. Peloton is green, man. These the strongest stocks are just the strongest stocks. What can I say? Yep, D Dog is green. CS is about to go green. CrowdStrike, Twitter. Yeah, pen maybe for Monday. I'm gonna take it off my watch list right now, but put it back there for Monday maybe. PLL. Uh, what am I looking at here? What what am I looking at? Yeah, Peloton is relentless. I hope this thing starts speeding up towards 150. Caesar. Uh, yeah, I like Caesar. Look at how nice it's bouncing off the 20 day. It, it, it can't go below go below the 20 day. If you can put in a tight candle here, it could be good for next week. Absolutely. MRNA. Yeah, this thing is a potential setup for next week. Kinda like it. OTR key, yeah, looks good. It breaks out. Could be good next week. PLL, does it, okay. Does it meet any of the criteria for a setup? Is it close to any of the main moving averages, the 10, 20, or the 50? Is it surfing any of those moving averages? Is it in a tight range? This doesn't fill any of the criteria, so no. A type exclamation mark YouTube into the chat and you'll get to a video that explains my setups. Big C. Paul, 
possibly building a like an IPO base. Uh, possibly. BNTX. Yeah, this thing broke out a few days ago. Yeah, it broke out here. Overstock, second chance entry. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no. The entry was in the 76, 77. You know, the entry was no higher than 78. You would be buying in the 80s. No. Fastly. Wait, am I not long fastly? I am. Yeah, wow, it's green. So two stocks are green already and a few stocks are about to be green in a second. So yeah. So I got stopped out of Tesla, but everything else is acting really well. Like, na like, like look at the Nasdaq, Nasdaq. Like, it's it's way below yesterday's lows, right? It's way below. But most of my stocks are near yesterday's highs. That that's strength for you, right? These things are all showing relative strength. That's a good sign. Look at these things. Uh, well, NVIDIA looks more like a NASDAQ overall. But most of my stocks are, uh, you know, around mid-range or yesterday's highs. Near yesterday's highs. That's pretty amazing. Was this a shakeout? Guys, stop looking for reasons. You know, Trump is irrelevant. You know... I bet the market would have been down anyways. Like 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 these things like markets are gonna be up or down every single day, right? Like like down days happen, okay? There is no law that says the market has to go up every day. It's just a down day. Deal with it. Just a down day. We've had an you know, it's just a down day. There's nothing special about it. Exactly. You just ignore all these events. They don't matter. Focus on setups. Focus on stocks. Tune out all the media. Tune out all the news. They're not going to help you at all. Exactly. Anything could happen. Right now, what I'm seeing in my, in my stocks, in my portfolio, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. With the exception of Tesla. <laughs> that I got stopped out in the four, uh, you know, some, I don't know where I got stopped out, 419 or something like that. <laughs> okay, whatever. It was a small position. It was my smallest position, but still. Uh, other than that, I'm very happy with everything. Like, the leaders are leading, okay? That's, that's what you want to see. I keep saying this daily, ignore what the market, like ignore, ignore what Trump does, ignore what Biden says, ignore what China does, ignore, you know, it's always something going on. There's always a reason, you know, or, you know, the media always looks for reasons for markets being up or down. And those reasons may or may not be the reason why the markets are up or down. What you need to be focusing on are the setups, the leading stocks and the setups. Okay, that's all you need to be focusing on. And manage your risk. Markets go both up or down. Uh, up and down. They don't go only up or only down. There's always going to be up or down days. You sound so smart like David. Is David smart? Hey David, are you smart? Or no? Fiverr is green? Yeah, Fiverr. Leaders are leading, what can I say? Exactly, it's, it's very hard to get out of the, like the mindset. Like, it's very hard to tune out, like, all the opinions and news.
But once you, you know, you're in the markets for a few years, you'll realize it's just all bullshit. No one knows anything. Like literally no one knows anything. Like even Warren Buffett says he has no idea what's going to happen from one day to another, from one year to another. He only knows that as long as companies create value, the markets are going to go up over time. So why would anyone in the news know anything, right? They would all be billionaires. But they're not. They're, w they're living on a salary. David, are you dumb as a rock? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. But that's okay. I like you anyway. Do you li Hey David, can I live in your in your basement when my mom kicks me out? Outdoor good setup. Uh, it's uh, it, it it's too thin. You know, you shouldn't even get something like this this in your scans. It's way too thin. You know, you you know you you should put a vo uh, volume criteria in your scans of at least 10, 15 million in dollar volume. There's no reason to trade something like it's just ultra liquid. Celsius. The Celsius is surfing the 50 day like a champion. If it can tighten up in this, you know, base, that would be nice. If you can tighten up for, you know, three, four days. I think they had a hit piece or something yesterday, didn't they? But I see these Celsius everywhere. There's these, the Celsius drinks, they're everywhere in Sweden. But I'm not sure why the stock started moving like only four or five months ago. Like Celsius, I've seen it everywhere for a few years now. Interesting. APT, yeah, I guess it's up because of, uh, you know, all the talk about the second wave and some high profile infections. Um, I don't know. It's too thin, that's the problem. It's way too thin. Uh, thin, uh, both. Thin is, uh, I, I, you know, I, for me it's just uh, like the overall dollar volume. Like you, you all should have at least 10, 15 million dollar cutoff in my opinion. There's no reason to trade like this very, very, like micro cap, you know, thin micro caps. The ones that only trade a few hundred thousand dollars or a few million uh dollars worth of shares per day. I, I don't think there's any reason to trade those stocks. Not saying they can't move, but I just, you know, that's just a recommendation. Even if you have a very small account, like there's so much opportunity in the markets. You don't have to be in the thinnest of the thinnest stocks. Vips, uh, this one is hitting new lows. Why is there a setup here? You should put, uh, you should type exclamation mark uh, YouTube in the chat right now. Um, this is, uh, you know, this is not good. Takes, yeah, it's very strong. I guess it looks good. PSNL, it looks decent. It's been surfing the 50 day. Yeah, it looks pretty good. If it can break out from here, that would be nice. 
Baba, Carvana. Yeah, I mean, all the strongest stocks are green. And the strongest of the strong stuff, stuff like Peloton and Zoom, these things are <laughs> breaking out or going higher. Way above yesterday's size. And look at my portfolio now. Everything was down between 3 to 6% in pre-market. And now nothing is down more than like 1.7%. And several are green. That's, uh, that's relative strength. And the markets, like the Nasdaq and the SPIs, they're still way off from yesterday's close. That's, that's relative. That's what your stock should do, right? Your stock should be stronger than a market. Then you know you're in the right stocks. And if they're not stronger than a market, well, then you're probably in the wrong stocks. Twilio. Uh, Twilio. You know what Twilio looks exactly like Carvana did a couple of weeks back on this day? <laughs> looks exactly the same. But for me, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to. I don't know. There, there may have been an entry opening range highs if you trade, uh, like, a, you know, uh, if you trade, if you're a new type of trader. But for me, I'm already fully invested. But yeah, there could, would have been an entry opening range highs. It's too late now. But it looks good. I mean, it looks good. It's already at average daily volume, at four, 18 minutes into the trading day. You know, this thing is probably going to have a $10 million volume candle. Uh, sorry, 10 million share volume candle today. Lemonade. Uh, yeah, it is tightening, but it looks like shit. Yeah, 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 it looks, uh, it looks strong. It had a breakout here. Look, it's just the same patterns over and over again, right? You have a trending stock, you know, goes sideways, pulls back, builds a range, builds higher lows, gets tighter, had a really tight range day, and then it broke out on high volume. It wasn't a super clean setup, but you know, it's the same patterns over and over again. If you, if you learn the patterns, you're gonna make a lot of money. But you need to put down the work, man. Um, there's still so many people in chat that you know still haven't what you know followed the instructions on the screen. They they haven't reviewed the breakout, this the swing trading school video, etc. etc. You gotta put in the work, man. You need to spend thousands and thousands of hours studying this. Not only the setup, but also the market conditions where the setups occur. And one by one, my stocks are turning green. That's a really good sign. I'm very happy about it. Very, very happy about it. I, I was honestly afraid I was going to get stopped out of more stocks out of the gate. I just want to follow you. Take my money, please. <laughs> uh, no. I don't need your money. I don't want your money. Exactly, Minervini. Yeah, sitting power. Yeah, Dan Sanger says it too. Both Minervini and Sanger, they say it all the time. Like, it's, 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 it's a superpower. Sitting out, you know, just sitting there and not doing anything. It's it's hard. It's really hard. But you have to do it. If you don't, if the market conditions are not favorable. And if there are no good setups, you just have to sit there and do nothing. It's a struggle. Mm, I don't doubt on dips. Uh, no. You didn't have to get stopped out on anything? Yeah, that's good. And then OX. Um, it's just, you know, it's having an up day. 
nothing to do with the short sellers just uh, just an update probably had some news I guess and they're demonstrating or they're gonna demonstrate their system live like battleground stocks are the best stocks you know stuff like Tesla uh, GSX like I was too afraid to buy GSX but this thing had several like really good breakouts I passed on this breakout because both Citroen and Muddy Waters were negative on it I was like and it's a China stock I was like it's just not worth the risk I had a perfect breakout here I had a perfect breakout here I had a perfect breakout here I passed on all of those breakouts I did short it here though but you know these battleground stocks you know they can be very very good VIX, uh, VIX here, yeah, uh, you know, you know, if you if you if you feel underinvested, I mean, it had a very good breakout yesterday. It's showing some good strength today, relative strength. Uh, sure, I mean, it wouldn't be crazy to buy it here. Like, if I felt underinvested, I, you know, I, I would, you know, I would maybe buy this thing today. Uh, I rarely buy like on day two on a dip, but you know you can do it if you really feel like you're underinvested. Battleground: the stocks where people are either very positive or very negative. And then no, and then no, and then no X. Hmm. Taking out opening range highs in a sec. Hmm. Nah, I'll pass on it. D dog, uh, 6th of June, 6th of June, you mean 8th of June, 8th of June it had a breakout, didn't we buy it here, yeah I think we bought it here, no I bought it on the, no wait wait, yeah we bought it here, on the 8th of June, had a perfect high tight flag breakout, perfect. And now we're in it again. VVPR. Yeah, people mention this VVPR daily. Good setup, dude. This is not close to a good setup yet. It's just a random move right now. It needs to tighten up. It needs to tighten up. I mean, D Dog, you know, if we go back to this day here. You know, if you could, you know, first and foremost, you have to be able to identify that this is a five-star setup, okay? If you if you can't see a five-star setup right here, you probably need to review thousands of hours of charts of, of like winning winning uh, stocks over the past couple of decades at least, like until you understand why this is a five-star setup, okay? And you know, then you start, you know, as soon as it starts like breaking out these. This range here, this high 73 area, you know, as soon as it starts, you, it's just when it looks like it's about to break out, that's when you buy it. As soon as you can identify this uh, breakout, that's when you buy it. And that's what we did. I'm 98% certain I bought this thing. Now, why was this a good setup? Because this is one of the fastest growing stocks in the stock market right now okay that's one and it was also this one of the stocks with the highest momentum and just look at how clean it was 
it built higher lows, it, it doubled in a short amount of time, actually went up 150%, pulled back a little bit, shopped around, built the range, built higher lows, and as soon as the 20 day caught up, boom, that's when we got the breakout. And you're gonna see that pattern a lot in the leading stocks. Have we discussed W? What's there to discuss? It broke out yesterday. Well, actually it broke out here from a uh, range with the higher lows, uh, but yesterday was like a secondary breakout. What's Penn doing? Penn, yeah, Penn. Mm. No, I was just explaining the setup to other, you know, to all the other people. I, I know, I realize you identified the setup, otherwise you wouldn't have mentioned it. I, I was just, meant, you know, explaining the setup to everyone else who maybe didn't understand the setup. Plug. Uh, more tightness? Yes. I, I think so. What's BLD? BLDP broke out yesterday. Yeah. BE. Well, BE is having a big gap down. It's not bouncing. Interesting. Hmm. What's fuel cell? Oh, fuel cell looks like shit. Okay. Doku? Uh, what about? Yeah, I took out yesterday's size. Guys, you know, CrowdStrike broke out here. This is where it broke out. You, you really need to buy stocks when they break out. Not, you know, a few days later or a few weeks later when they, you know, when it's already obviously they're very strong. Like, you, you need to buy them right at the breakout. You gotta be ready for them. You have to identify the stocks before they break out and then buy them as soon as they break out. Oh wow, Fastly, what a superstar. What the hell is an ONG stock? I have no idea what an ONG stock is. D-Dog, wow, uh, yeah, wow, what a beast. Oil and gas? Uh, that's the most horrible sector right now, there's absolutely nothing there. It's the shittiest of the shittiest sectors. But yeah, when oil and gas sector has momentum, which it does have every couple of years, they are very profitable. I remember uh, early 2016, oil and gas stocks were just insane. That was the last time I remember oil and gas stocks had a big, uh, big run. Since then, they're kind of sluggish and kind of shitty most of the time. But right now, it's just one of the shittiest sectors. Guys, I trade everything. I, I don't care about the sector. I, tra I trade everything. As, so, as long as it has momentum, as long as I see a good setup, I trade it. I don't care what it is. I can trade crypto. I can trade uh, commodities. I can trade gold. I can trade silver. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's the, same, it's the same patterns. It's the same mechanism. NVTA. <clears throat> Uh, it needs more time. Pokemons, Pornmax, yes, I, I trade in everything. Would you rather lose all your money or give, give half to David? Hmm, if I had to choose. I, I'd rather lose all my money than, than give half to David and keep the other half. 
What? No, really? <laughs> what? Who is David? He's the meanest guy in chat. He hates me. Did you offer me 180 million the other day? Why didn't I take it? Why didn't I take it? Reno took it? Oh, of course he did. I weren't paying attention? Oh, man. So if I had paid attention I would have 180 million more today okay good to know I'll try to pay attention in, in case the, that kind of offer comes on the table again SGMS, um, yeah, if it can go sideways a bit more, it looks decent, looks decent. Man, one sector I wish I was in was sol our solar stocks. These things such as such bees, like SCDG, EMPH, RUN, SBWR, man, I missed this sector. I missed it, I missed it this time around. But I mean another, you know, a lot of other good stocks. But man, I, I just wish I had one solar stock. <laughs> NIU set up. Uh, NIU kind of broke out of a range yesterday. But I, ah, it, it's not really a, a great setup. Unless it's accompanied by some kind of news. But in that case, I would have preferred more volume. But, you know, it's, I don't, you know, it's not the type of breakout setup I, I try to teach. Uh, but it could work. Like, it, it looks much better on the weekly chart, though. It bounced off the 20 day. Look at when it, tw or, or sorry, the 20 weekly, the yellow line, it caught up with this flag. That's when it broke out. You will, you will see that in a lot of, you know, a lot of setups. Like, uh, when a stock makes a big move, once the 20 day, or in some cases the 20 weekly, which would be the 100 day on the daily chart, when it, ca when it catches up, that's when a stock breaks out. We'll see it a lot. Leaders are leading, yeah. Overstock is crap. I think it's a great stock. It's one of the best trading stocks this year. It's absolutely not crap. But or, or do you mean today? Like it hasn't gone green yet? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, you know. It went to the 50 day and looks like it kind of, you know, stopped there and, you know, look, it, 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 you know, it could still go. It may need some time. I don't know. Don't rule it out yet. Even the leading stocks may not, you know, necessarily show relative strength every day. Like, some, oh, what the hell, LAC, really? Oh my god, it's up 20% from the opening print.
I bought a hundred thousand shares of this thing uh, at the open in my imaginary account. Just so you know, guys. Man, I still only have twenty thousand shares of this thing, and now it's become liquid. I want to increase my position to like hundred thousand shares, but you know I need a good setup. Yeah, I did buy it. I did buy it in the, I think around six bucks, 20,000 shares. I haven't added, I haven't sold a single share, I think. Or maybe I sold a few hundred shares, I don't know. But you know, I, I've said it before, you know, I'll sell when it goes to 20, 30, 40, I'll start selling. Yeah, that was a great call up for Dante, man. I mean, he sometimes sniffed these things out really well. Some things it just pumps, but some, He's been on this thing for a long time, a long time. He, he started talking about this one in 2016, 20, yeah, 2016, 2017. Like he's been putting the thesis out there for a long time. Okay, uh, hi now, what you need to do is follow the instructions on the screen. You need to put exclamation mark YouTube in the chat right now. It will take you to a YouTube video and you need to watch it. There's a reason, you know, guys, if you're new, just follow the instructions on the screen. Please, please. I'm so tired of, you know, answering the same questions 50 times per day. It doesn't only waste my energy, it also wastes everyone else's time. Because people who have been in here for a while have to listen to the same things over and over again. It's all there. Ninety-five percent of your questions will be answered if you follow the instructions on the screen. I promise you. Oh, OTR key is breaking out. I know some people have been mentioning this thing for the past few days. It looks good. It looks very good. <laughs> why 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 was I so convenienced on I don't know con convenienced I don't know what it, that means what do you mean if, why was I so convenienced on LAC convinced oh convinced uh why i had conviction on it well i mean from the beginning i said this is a position trade like i'm gonna use you know wider stops and you know it's a small position i really don't care about it it's less than one percent of my overall portfolio so i kind of need this thing to well now it is a double but i still i need this thing to double triple quadruple to make any money on it you know just because it's such a small position, I really don't you know, care about it. So I used like a break even stop for a long, long time. Now I have moved it up a little bit, but. You've been reviewing the YouTube videos? Yeah, that's good. Uh, dangerous topic. Do you ever move stops below pre-market low if going to get stopped on open anyway? Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I mean, it depends, it depends. And slowly but surely, like there, there's almost no red, you know, almost all my stocks are green now. And pre-market, everything was down six to you know three to six percent. I think LAC was down like six percent in pre-market, if I remember correctly. 
Yeah, 6-7%. That was the stock that was down the most. And now it's up the most. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing is crazy, man. Well, you know, the only good stocks are the ones that are going up. LTHM is not a good stock because it's not going up. As traders, we only care about stocks that others want to buy. We want to be in the stocks that have the most interest. That's our job. Our job is to own LAC over LTHM because LAC is a better stock. Why? Because it has more momentum. Uh, Kirk. Yeah, it's just it's a grinder. Hasn't really had a well. It did try to break out yesterday, though. Shuey, you bought it yesterday. Uh, breakout. Come on, guys. Lodbrook Trader, you know better. Come on, follow the sell rules. Okay, follow the sell rules. Don't stop. Don't stop. Start second guessing things. Just follow the sell rules. Uh, the, the name of my cat? No, it's uh, Luca. Maybe I'll name him uh, my next cat, David. Will I become a fantastic father? Why, why do you think that? Luca? No, Luca. Loki. Yes, it's my first pet. No, I I, I had uh, like birds before, like uh, what like uh, what's what's the name of them? Uh, what's the name of the Bat Gary Bat Gariger or whatever they're called? I've had like them before. Would you get a dog? Not now. I'm too lazy to get a dog. Because then I would have to walk it and stuff like that. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> hey, Lodbrok Trader, why will I become a good or fantastic father? Because I'm rich. I don't feel patient. Sometimes I, I kind of... I feel like really impatient. I am super impatient. I really don't feel patient at all. I keep coming back. Yeah, that's true. You guys, you, 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 you try to bring me down, but I always pop back up. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> That's true love. Yeah, maybe it is. You know what true love is? Not banning David every single day. That's true love. What did I do? Actually, you haven't done anything today.
Wow, this NNOX is going. I guess opening range eyes was the entry. PLL. Yeah, I don't see a setup on it though. Not my type of stock. I'm looking for very specific setups. Like it was just, uh, you know, a recent, recent uh, micro cap runner that faded and then today it had just, you know, gap down like everything else. Like I, I, I just don't see an edge or something like this. Livongo is starting to go or break out. You know, I'm a little bit tempted adding to this thing, but I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah, PLL is the one that had the Tesla deal. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. I hope we can tighten uh, tighten up here a little bit so the 10 day can catch up. Then I would be interested in maybe buying this thing, but right now I just don't see here anything here. I'm looking for very specific setups. Trill. Yeah, could be good next week. Is Playboy going public, really? Is Playboy still relevant? Though, is Playboy still a thing? It is, it's a thing. Like, it feels like the audience for Playboy will, will probably die natural deaths within the next 20 years. It's like Tupperware. Like, their, their customers will be gone within 20 years. They're, they have all died their natural deaths. Playboy is always the thing. It is. Por now Pornhub. Now, if that thing went public, I would go all in. <laughs> you're 29, but e but in your mind, you're a boomer. <laughs> Playboy Tupperware merger. You read Playboy for the articles, yeah. <laughs> Who is Aquaholic? Aquaholic. Well, I mean... Look, I do a Google search for Aquaholic, what do I get? I, I get boats like this. I, I don't think this guy cares about my boat. <laughs> it's too cheap for this guy to give a shit. Okay, like, so far I really like the market action. I really like it. So far we had a nice bounce. Now question is, are we going to stick or are we going to fade the rest of the day? That's always a possibility, of course. That's always a possibility. Now, you know, looking back, you know, in the past hour, did it matter that Trump get, got COVID? Right? This is what I tell you. Just ignore the noise. It's all noise. No one knows anything. Like I said in pre-market, the market, the market may... 
may may have been gapping down on the Trump getting COVID news, or it may have not, you know, gapped down on Trump getting COVID news. Maybe would have we would have gapped down anyways because you know sometimes markets go down. I know, I know. Don't burn me, but don't burn me. But you know sometimes they do, right? There doesn't always have to be a reason for it. Whoa, dude. Have you ever looked into algorithmic trading? No. Or using neural networks? Is anyone using neural networks for trading? What? Bots? It's the same thing. Algorithmic trading and bots. It's the same thing. Dude, let's let's not let's not be rocket scientists in here. No, I have never looked into those things. I have never looked into those things. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people want, you know, what I think, like a lot of people think it's going to be easier doing algorithmic trading. But you, ch you have to put in as much work as in learning, you know, trade the, the manual way, right? You, you, you just, I think people look for shortcuts. The same thing with people are obsessed with options. They just look for shortcuts. Like, it's not going to be easy. If anything, it's going to be harder for you guys to make money. If anything, it's going to be harder. Exactly, you have to know code, you have to understand statistics and be good with numbers. Like trading the way I do, you really don't have to know any of those things. You, you, you just need to know and understand some basic concepts. But if you're going to get into the algorithmic game, the you know, bots and neural networks, I mean, it's just complicating things. Like, guys, like if you want to make tens of millions, do it the easy way, really. I just, you know, I just want to do everything, you know, as simple as possible. But if you are good at numbers, if you are, if you do know code, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't try to do algorithmic trading. If you do have good backtesting software and data and all of that, absolutely. But as a layman, I, I think it's just easier to do, you know, just manual trading. Just manually go through thousands of stocks. Just, you know, just look for simple stock. You know, some, just look for simple patterns. I really believe that. What the hell is going on? Let's see. Oh. Do you think having cats will help you make hundreds of millions? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it uh, makes a difference. You're a software developer and algo trading is over your head. There you go. Exactly. There's a lot of, uh, you know, mathematicians and IT guys doing algorithmic trading. How many of those have gotten rich? You know, not that many. Because, you know, it's hard, you know, how, no matter how you do it, no matter how you try to extract money from the market, it's going to be really hard. There are no shortcuts. Thoughts on long positions? Uh, yeah, the ones that break out from good setups. Yeah, uh, I know. I know who it is. The guy is uh, the guy is also on Twitter, uh, and he's also in the Stock B. Uh, he's a very active member in the Stock B community. There's an algorithmic trader in uh, the New Market Wizards. Yeah, he's he's uh, I know him from the Stock B community. He's very active there.
MHP, exactly. Guys, is OnlyFans down for you? I'm trying to get I'm I'm trying to create an OnlyFans account, but I can't like I can't load the page. I'm trying different bro uh, browsers. Like I can't you know, there's nothing coming up. Is it down for you too? <laughs> what the fuck is OnlyFans? Well, <laughs> you, I I'm trying to create an account for you guys. You know, you, some of you have been requesting for months now. I, I just tried to make you happy. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna post short porn. <laughs> it is down with or without the cat. Uh, shorts only. Just sexy pornographic shorts. OnlyFans is down. Why is it down? Just when 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 I try to create an account. Bummer. They're, yeah, they are subjective. There is no exact science for it. They are very subjective. Man, I guess Twilio was a buy opening range eyes. Oh well. I've been passing on so many things past couple of days. Just because, you know, I've been fully invested. And now look at how many stocks took out yesterday's high. Now look at the markets, right? We're still below yesterday's lows, right? In the NASDAQ, which is the relevant index for the stocks we trade. Look at how many stocks are up in my portfolio are up uh, above yesterday's highs. This thing briefly went above yesterday. Oh, no, sorry. This actually hit the all-time highs today. Fastly above yesterday's highs. Livongo. CrowdStrike uh, almost went, almost took out yesterday's highs. NIO, ZS almost at yesterday's highs. This thing is about to take out, yet, or actually just took out yesterday's highs. ESTC, clo ESTC close to yesterday's highs. Beyond Meat got close to yesterday's highs. DraftKings, Twitter, SC. NVIDIA is not really close to yesterday's highs. So every stock except for one or two are at are above or very close to yesterday's size. That's relative strength. That's what you want to see in your stocks. Now, if you have like, let's say you have a portfolio of five, 10, 15 stocks, and there's one or two are who, that's, that are not outperforming, it's not the end of the world. But you know, most of your stocks should be outperforming, right? The markets. Otherwise, you are in the wrong stocks. Okay, you need to put more, you know, study into into the leaders. Like, how do I identify the leading stocks? No, I don't have any shorts. Nope. Why solar is strong? Because it's the hottest sector. Like, the amount of investment going into the renewable energies right now around the world. It's just insane. Think about it this way, like solar and wind, you know, th th those are going to replace all the coal, all the oil and gas in the next couple of decades. That's why solar is, that's why the solar ETF looks like this and the oil gas ETF looks like this. That's the reason for it. And that's why the coal ETF looks like this. Whoa, it's actually going sideways. I thought it was down, but okay. This is the future, okay? This is why it looks like this. Uh, how much market-related reading? Nowadays, not much. I used to do a lot more. But nowadays, you know, I just, you know, 
there, there, there's really not much new under the sun. Like, you know, I studied a lot of successful investors and traders. I read a lot of news before and it, no, none of those, you know, you ch I just try to pick the best parts from like all the successful traders and then, you know, it's all about applying those things. It, it's just no, not many new things like brute concepts like it's it's the main brute concepts and uh, it feels like there's no reason to you know do a lot of outside market reading it's more about applying to things i already know and do it the best way i can many parts yes you can aren't there i environmental technique well in some countries yeah But solar technology is going forward very exponentially. Like I did a study on solar like 13 years ago when I was in uh, high school. And since then, like solar has, you know, had huge, huge develop. Like the costs and the efficiency and uh, all those things have, it's, it's been exponential uh, development. While coal, oil and gas, nuclear, they have just been, you know, not many things have happened. So it's just get, getting better and better. It's getting cheaper and it's getting more effective. Yeah, it's an investment case, but it can also be a trade. Like, like I, I think solar could be a very good uh, trading sector for many years to come, potentially. Potentially. But obviously, you know, you have to wait for setups. I like solar. Like, I've been bullish solar since I was uh, 18 years old. And I did um, like my high school project on it. It was about replace like putting a solar panels on the on the school uh, school's roof. I don't remember the conclusion of it. I'm gonna try to find the study. I remember this is back in 2007. I was a pioneer. I was bef you know. What can I say? I'm not a pioneer anymore. <laughs> Solar panels in Sweden are definitely not a waste. You're gonna get free energy like ha six months of the year? How can that be a waste? That's definitely not a waste. Uh, let's see here. Where the hell is... Mm.
has there ever in the history of the market last 20 years? Well, it's very easy to find out. Let's find it out together. Let's go to, let's look at the Nasdaq. Okay. So Lotbrook Trader, as if it's the, in the past 20 years, has been such a strong market. Okay. Very easy to find out. Let's go look at the monthly chart of the uh, Nasdaq. Okay. So the Nasdaq put in a move. I just, it's just counting from the lows, the March lows to the highs, like in the past, or the, uh, like two weeks ago. The Nasdaq went up 82%. That's a 230% move annualized, okay? So how many months was this? One, two, three, four, five, six months. So 82%, 200%. A 30% annualized. Let's look at the March lows in 2009. That thing went up 100%. And that was 90% annualized in about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, like a year or something. So that wasn't as, uh, as big of a move percentage-wise. So yeah, this could have been the biggest, uh, strongest market in the past 20 years. Last time we had such a big move in the Nasdaq was really like late 98 to early 99. Where the Nasdaq went up 85% in, uh, what, four months? That was a 1,070% move annualized, according to this. Is it true? It says so, but if I move it one month, it's suddenly 570%. So that was a more powerful move. And then, you know, looking at er from early 99 to early 2000, that was another 100% was 92% annualized. So yeah, this is the strongest market move in the, at least in the Nasdaq past 20 years. I don't need to pull out the logarithmic chart. I, I did the percentage counts. If they're still the same, no matter if I look at the logarithmic or arithmetic. No, my cat never sits on my lap. He hates me. Unfortunately, my cat hates me. How am I able to have 14 plus open positions when using 10 to 15 percent positions? What do you mean? It's very easy. 
14 open positions, it's not that big of a deal. Most of them are well in, in you know, way above my stops. There's not much manage, managing to do. Look at how far above my stops most of these stocks are. I really don't have to, you know, look at them very closely. Most of these stocks, they're like 10, 20 percent above my stops. It's very easy to manage. Hey, there's been times I've had 30 positions. Then you can talk about hard to manage. <laughs> Happened a couple of times this year. Oh, you think you ask if I'm on margin? Yeah, I'm using some margin. Yeah. Logarithmic, arithmetic, where do you study that math? Okay, I'm just gonna show it, makes no difference, okay? This is the arith arithmetic chart, okay? Let's look at the move here, from highs to lows. 82%, 28% annualized. Now let's move to the logarithmic chart, okay? Boom, 82% move, 280% annualized. No difference, okay, thanks. Great to have it settled. Uh, PBBY. Wow, this one is also taking out yesterday's size. Yeah, but I wasn't comparing visually. I, I was just looking at the raw numbers. The question was, was this the strongest market in the past 20 years? So we looked at the numbers. We weren't doing a visual exercise, we were doing a mathematical exercise. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like obviously if you go back and look at you know big moves over a long period of time, it's it's you know it's more fair to look at visually to look at on the logarithmic chart. But we were just doing a mathematical exercise where we looked at the absolute gain and then the annualized gain over a period of time. So it doesn't matter if you look at on the arithmetic chart or the logarithmic chart. <coughs> That's math. Yeah, the short is visual. <laughs> yeah, LAC, man. Too bad it didn't really have a great setup to add, but I, I man. Wow. Holy shit, what a just going straight up. Why does why, why does my smallest position have to be the strongest one? Like this thing is a double since uh, last week. <laughs> like I remember looking at it down here, I'm like, what a piece of shit. Like uh, my stop was like somewhere here, I think, like around six bucks. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get stopped out of it. And now it did this. <laughs> oh man. How am I, uh, what, my long-term portfolio? I don't have a long-term portfolio. Am I thinking about shorting TQQ? No, I'm not. Etsy, is it a setup? Uh, uh, is it a setup? Well, you'll find out if you re 
type uh, exclamation mark YouTube into the chat yeah. and watch that video. You'll find out if this is a setup or not. Is it surfing one of the major moving averages? Is it is it tight? Is it about to break out out of a range? Does it fill any of those criteria? Yeah, most of my net worth is in uh, in the different brokerages I use. Why would I have long-term holdings? Why would I hold some shitty dividend stocks when I can get so much better returns by trading momentum stocks long short? It just doesn't make any sense. Because dividend, you don't need to do anything, just sleep in and rest. Yeah, when that guy time comes, yeah, sure. But hey, I'm still young. I don't want to retire yet. Uh, any brokers who allows buying selling on conditions uh, I mean any broker where you can uh, connect your own like algorithm I guess like interactive brokers like they have APIs sure <laughs> in my mega yacht it's it's uh, it's a mini yacht if anything it's a mini yacht it par it barely qualifies as a yacht Have you tried that before? No. Conditional buying, selling? No. I do it all manually. There, there's absolutely no reason to complicate things. Really. I mean, just people are always looking to ways to, you know, like, there's just no point. Just keep it as simple as you can. Like, the only automation I use is stop losses. That's it. I put a stop loss and that, that's 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 uh, about how automated I can get. When I put a stop loss, I feel like a quant. I feel smart. I feel like a rocket scientist. PLL? Yeah, good. Now, if you can explain that setup to me, I would appreciate it. I would love to learn that setup. Have you linked it? Linked what? How I know my current position? What do you mean? Uh, if you can program a stop loss that works after hours, uh, I would probably not use a stop loss after hours because most stocks are really liquid. Maybe a stop limit, but definitely not a stop market. Yeah, all my positions are right here. But you would know that if you had followed the instructions on the screen. HYLN, what's that? Uh, R, was there a signal to show that... Like, Hiln was never a short? There was never a short setup here? It's just a random shoppy stock? I don't see a short setup here. It's just a random stock that that's been going lower. Like stocks are gonna always there's always something going up or down. Like, but most things won't have good setups. You need to trade off good setups, okay? Which means you're gonna pass on most stocks because most stocks won't fit your criteria. Go go, uh, yeah, go go looks good. Yep, yeah, it, it's it's a high tight flag. 
It's too thin for me personally, but yeah, at least thing looks good. It's surfing the 20 day, building higher lows, getting tighter. Absolutely, and it's a big momentum stock. This thing more than doubled, almost, yeah, this thing tripled in a very short amount of time. This thing looks powerful. <sighs> oh, so someone said OnlyFans is back up. I'm gonna create an account. It's gonna, I'm gonna call it short porn. No, what? No, it's true. I'm gonna create an OnlyFans for you guys. Some of you have been requesting for a while. Um, Max positions. Uh, I don't. I don't have a limit. <laughs> Only fans? Well, you I guess you'll have to Google it. <laughs> I'm only gonna post the sexist charts there. It's Discord on steroids, yeah. It's Discord on Viagra. Private stock picks, oh yeah. Man, this site is so slow. So how do I post a picture on here? Uh, oh man, I, I'm not even gonna answer that, man. If you can't follow simple instructions, I'm not even gonna waste my time. So let's find a sexy breakout. NIO was a sexy breakout. Or wait, let's see. Uh, Twitter was a, a sexy breakout, right? No, NIO was a really sexy. That's gonna be my first uh, post on OnlyFans. That's a sexy ass breakout.
Okay, guys, I just posted uh, <laughs> my OnlyFans on Twitter. Overstock? Yeah, doesn't look too strong now. But, you know, just follow the rules. You know, this thing could dip that back to 76 bucks. And before next week, it's going to go to 100, you know. You never know. Just, you know, just follow the sell rules. Don't overthink things too much. It may stop you out or it may not. And someone asked me about sale yesterday, if they should sell some even before the three day rule. And I said, no, follow the rules. And today, I mean, it depends on where you bought it. If you bought it on this day here, today is day two. But if you bought it on this day here, today is one, two, day four. And if you haven't sold any, it wouldn't be crazy to sell a third to half. You know, you you would be up almost 20% on it, right? And then you start trailing the rest with the 10 day moving average. You know, the sell rules are there to help you be as consistent as possible and not be your... The, the, the sell rules are your friend, not your enemy. You are your own enemy. Having different sell rules all the time, that you're going to be your own enemy. You need to have the same sell rules. Yeah, Jim Kramer is your enemy. Exactly. Dave Portnoy is your enemy. Okay? They're all your enemies. Your f the only thing you need to care about are setups. 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 Rules. Sell rules. Entry rules. Position management. Risk management. Only fans post says user is inactive. No, I'm not. What the hell is this? Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not. Wait, what? No, I think you guys need to create an account to see my content. I think that's the problem. Um... Wait, I'll log in and try to see, uh, let's see here, uh, settings, um, uh, I think you guys need to create the, an account to see my content. It says user inactive. Why? Okay, I, I, I have to share because I did verify my email address. That's weird. I'll have to. Um, man, I'm all over the place. <laughs> uh, your email address has been confirmed. Okay, so um, maybe someone needs to. Um, manually approve it or after after you verify the email address hmm, that's weird <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, no, I don't think I have to do anything. It, because there's nothing here that says I have to do anything. Is Brandy Love on uh, OnlyFans? Wait, is Brandy Love on OnlyFans? I'm gonna check, check it out. How do you search? Oh, there it is. Let's see. Brandy Love. Nope, she's not on OnlyFans. Too bad. Is she on? No, but I couldn't find her. I'm gonna make a collab with her. Only brand. Wait, she has her own uh, URL? But I searched for her. I couldn't find Brandy Love. Man, this page, they really have some issues. I can't. Oh, now I got getting. Brand. Oh wait, this is search posts, not search for users. How do you search for users? Can you search for users? Weird. Oh yeah, yeah, she is on OnlyFans. You're a lifetime subscriber. Hey, David. David, do you have an OnlyFans? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I'm the only trader with an OnlyFans account. I'm gonna keep it for free. I'm not gonna charge anything. Just like all my other content. I'm, I'm gonna keep it free. David has a MySpace? I bet he has.
They're gonna send assassins? No, they're not. And roach their business? I don't know what that means. <laughs> kitty litter? <laughs> I can afford kitty litter myself. Thank you very much. Oh man. All right. Oh well, now, now it's all a waiting game again. So far, we did bounce from the open, but looks like we are fading a little bit. Spice are still below the 50 day. Nasdaq is above the 50 day, that's good. Nasdaq, actually Nasdaq 100, the 10 day has started turning up again. It's about to cross above the 20 day, that's a good sign. If the market closes weak, if we start, if we close near the lows of the day, or even uh, take out the lows, uh, yeah, I would probably size down a bunch of names. I would probably sell the weakest ones, or size down the weakest ones first, or even sell some of them outright. But yeah, if we close weak, I would, uh, I would maybe, you know, I would probably size down some things. Hey, what's Dave Portnoy up to? I haven't followed him for a few months. Is he doing anything funny? He's back to sports, really? He's not trading anymore. What? Oh, he stopped the... Uh, okay. Yeah, well, if your only strategy is by the dip, you know, 
that's not really a good strategy unless you're a very long-term investor right that's another thing but that's it that is not gogo looks like it's breaking up but man but i know most of his net worth is uh, in pen and you know even if he lost money in september he, he's you know he's doing fine <laughs> And especially considering this pen looks like it wants to go to a hundred, you know, he's gonna be fine. I'm I'm doing the cat uh, testing. If someone uh, posted, I'm doing fairly well. I think I have like a seventy-five percent win rate so far. But the site is really bad, man. It's such a slow site. I would have been finished forever ago. If I, oh my god, this is an ugly cat.
Are you in any chat rooms? No. Okay, I'm almost at the end now. Oh, such a slow sight, man. Oh my god. It's like uh, having a 50k modem. 56k modem. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind, my score was lower than I thought. I, I, I aced the first half and then I kind of dropped it the second half. The average, sco average score is 76%. I got 56%. Never mind. I, I did better the first uh, half. Yeah, SHLL completed the merger. It's another symbol now. Arlo. Uh, yeah, it looks decent. You can break out. HYLN. Yeah, what about it? All right, guys, uh, I think it's going to be a really slow rest of the day again, you know, the game plan, you know, depends on how we close. I may size down a bunch of positions, maybe even sell something out right if we close really, really weak. Right now, we're very, very strong. Well, wait, Qs are in the middle of the range, but the Spies are at the highest of the day. That's interesting. So the Spies are showing a relative strength. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Guys, no one knows if Hill has a setup, you buy it, otherwise, you don't touch it. Oh, yeah, this is SHLL. Yeah, this is uh, SHLL, by the way. So they completed the merger. <laughs> Pakes, yeah, it's a strong stock. Plug, yeah, plug, yeah. This was the breakout day, but you know, it was kind of a tough setup. That's the problem. What's BLDP doing? Ox also taking out history size. Yeah, go go uh, mood. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for joining this week. I, if you haven't done it, you should probably review thousands of shards over the weekend, or maybe not thousands, but at least a few hundred. Uh, you know, stocks, big winning stocks over the past couple of decades. Just look at the patterns. Look at what they did. Look at how they move. The stocks have a certain rhythm to them. The leading stocks, they all move the same way. That doesn't matter if it's in the 1920s or in the 2020s. The stocks, stocks move the same way. If you, you know, if you learn the, the patterns, you're going to make hundreds of millions over your lifetime, probably. If you're very good. Or at least tens of millions. Guaranteed. But most people are just not willing to put in the work. They're looking for, I don't know, handouts. They're looking for entertainment, right? That's not how you do it. You need to put in the hard work. My job is to kick you in the ass. That's my job. My job is not to entertain you. My, my job is to kick you in the ass. Okay? You should... You know, you, you should just, you know, 
any time you have over, you you should study shards. All right, guys. Thanks for joining this week, and uh, I'll see you on Monday. Good luck. Have a great weekend.